Hello dear friends and welcome. This song had quite a remarkable and extensive evolution before becoming one of the most iconic tunes in music history. Back in February 1967, the talented French composer Jean Underwood crafted the initial rendition of this melody. It was titled, For Me, and originally, the lyrics were in English. Excitingly, Underwood reached out to several well-known singers through their record labels, such as Herbie Ballard, Michel Sardou, Morel Matthew, and Claude Francois. Surprisingly, all of them turned down the song, deeming it less appealing. Fast forward six months, and something extraordinary happened. The singer Klaus Francois, who had previously recorded two other songs by Underwood that topped the French charts, expressed a strong desire to meet the composer in person. Claude Francois graciously invited Underwood to his charming chalet, where they spent a day filled with leisure, relaxation, and captivating discussions about potential new songs. During their heartfelt conversation, Jacques Reboot persistently urged Claude Francois to reconsider accepting the song, For Me. Although initially hesitant, Francois and Underwood continued exchanging thoughts on the matter. Eventually, Klaus Francois proposed a brilliant idea, what if they recreated the lyrics in French? This proposition brought them together with the talented writer Gillis Thibault. The trio crafted a brand new set of French lyrics that beautifully conveyed the story of a couple on the verge of ending their relationship. Their lives had fallen into a monotonous routine, where making love had become mundane and tedious. The lyrics were inspired by Claude's recent breakup with the enchanting singer France Gall. Consequently, the song acquired a new title, Avec la Verdad, which translates to, as usual, in Spanish. A month later, in September 1967, the song was recorded in Paris and released in November, marking its debut and original version. It didn't take long for, Avec la Verdad, to make waves in the music scene, it sold an impressive 200,000 copies and held the top spot on the charts for three weeks. However, when compared to Claude's other notable hits, this success was considered relatively moderate. Paul Anka embarked on a vacation to Paris, and while traveling in a taxi, he heard this song on the radio. The lyrics didn't strike him as anything extraordinary, but he couldn't get the melody out of his head. Recognizing its immense potential, Anka took advantage of his stay in Paris to acquire the rights to the song. Once back home, he penned a new set of English lyrics that depicted a man reflecting on his life as he feels death drawing near. He acknowledges the ups and downs, but overall, he did it his way and has no regrets. Anka believed that the lyrics perfectly described Frank Sinatra's life, so he reached out to offer the song to him. Sinatra loved it and promptly recorded it. It was released in March 1969 and became a massive hit. Over the years, it became Sinatra's signature theme. The song gained such fame that it became one of the most covered songs in history, with countless artists from around the world interpreting it. The first Spanish version appeared in 1970, recorded by Argentine singer Estela Ravo, titled A Mi Modo. However, most Spanish adaptations were titled A Mi Manera. Other famous artists who sang this remarkable song include Elvis Presley, Raphael, Nina Simone, Sex Pistols, David Bowie, Blanca, Andrea Bocelli, Barbie Jiff, Vertigo Osborne, Celine Dion, Champagne, Augur, Julio Iglesias, and Gypsy Kings, to name just a few. Claude Francois was surprised by the song's tremendous success. Unfortunately, 
he didn't witness its full consecration over the years, as he tragically passed away on March 11, 1978. Klaus Francois's sudden death at the peak of his popularity was a blow to all of France, especially considering the strange and almost absurd circumstances surrounding it. While taking a shower, he noticed that a light bulb above him was not straight. Being a perfectionist, instead of waiting, he stood up in the bathtub and tried to fix the bulb. Due to previous adjustments, some exposed wires were left, and when he touched them while standing in the water, he received a strong electric shock that rendered him unconscious. Although resuscitation attempts were made, he passed away a couple of hours later at the age of only 39. Well, friends, that has been the story behind the song, My Way. Leave us a comment telling us which version you like the most. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, and we'll see you soon with another video. When I bit off more than I could chew